Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another paracord tutorial for you today. Doing another great design from Cetus 550. Check out Pavel's Instagram. I'll link it down below. This is the tri-color uh, design. He just call it the tri-color. So it's really nice. We've got uh, two separate colors going down each side and a nice little accent going down the middle and done on buckles, of course. This one turned out great. The back side of this bracelet looks awesome too. Actually, this could be something else. You can definitely just invert your buckles and have this on the outside. So. That is pretty sweet too, but this is the presentation side and this is the tutorial we're doing today. All right. So guys, remember if you like what I do, feel free to check out my Patreon. Also, you can support the channel by clicking those affiliate links down below because um, those definitely help out as well. All right. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay. So to start this tricolor weave, uh, we've got the double cow shit set up four strand core. As you can see, if you don't know how to do this setup, always check my dedicated tutorial for that. And the only thing we have to do before we start the pattern is we got to have to add our accent color. So I've got my uh, white here on a fit and I'm just going to loop it through these two upper uh, cow's hitches here. Okay, so I'm going to put one through here and through here like so. And you're going to pull it all the way through so that they're even on both sides. Okay, so we'll get that set up just like that. All right, so then we have our two lead strands like so, and the accent strand right in the middle, and that's how we're gonna start out. Okay, so to do this pattern, we're gonna move our accent color aside. That's the one going down the middle. I'm gonna start with the strand on the left. You're gonna go uh, take that strand on the left, go underneath the first two strands on the left, and then back through back over and under like so we've got one loop on that side and we're gonna do the same on the other side so go underneath bring that through and put it through to the other side like so okay pretty simple next you're gonna take the accent strand on the left and you're gonna bring it over to the right side now on this side you're gonna go underneath um, the first loop here and through this opening right here okay right there and you can bring that through and out now on the right on the right side accent you can do the same thing bring it over to this side and go in between these two uh, strands on the left remember you're gonna go under and through the loop on the left. Okay. Bring that through. And there you go. And then now we cinch up. And this part will be a little bit trickier. So just kind of cinch up as you go. And try to keep these white strands going underneath that way. Okay, so cinch up. And pull the excess out. And push everything up. Okay. And there we go. That is the first set of knots. So let's go again. So let's go again. The um, second set will look a little bit different. So again, let's just do the same thing. Go under and over like so let's get that in the center okay again go under and over okay strand on the left <clears throat> bring it over go in between go under and through the middle like so, bring it out to the side. And bring this one over. And on this side, go under and through that loop. And there you go. 
Okay, so let's cinch that up again. Okay, and there we go. So that is essentially the pattern. A um, little bit more painstaking on this one to get all the excess out. But uh, yes, no, overall not too hard. Let's go one last time real quick just to show you the pattern forming. Okay, so we've got those both through there. And yeah, this is just one of those patterns where you'll have to kind of play with it to get all the excess out so that it looks good to get those knots consistent. Overall not too bad on this one. Pretty simple. Of course you can always use FIDS if that makes it easier for you. Okay, so just like that. And see how this one's starting to come up like that? Make sure you keep the knot like that so the white is going underneath like so. Okay. All right, so just uh, continue this pattern. Work on those knots, keep them nice and consistent. Kind of pull up, get everything nice and tight. There we go, you can see our pattern forming. Okay, so yep, yeah, just continue working your way down your bracelet and then we'll figure out how to finish it off at the end. Okay, so we're coming down to the end of the bracelet and um, I've just kind of melted my ends of my paracord to make it easier to work with. Or you could use fids if you have a lot of fids. Or you could just take the fid on and off. So this end part will get a little tricky because we're working really tightly here. So this is how we're gonna finish it off. See, I did the last two knots there. And now we're gonna take the left side. We're just gonna push it back through to the um, other side. So pardon my hands here. So I'm gonna push it under and keep that there. And then this side, we're gonna go through here, out the back. And then we're just gonna leave it um, going out the back. We're not gonna bring it back to the front because you know we're done weaving. So pull that tight and there we go. So cinch up those last few knots. And that is a super clean finish. So now we're just gonna sip and singe. Um, take our paracord bracelet off the jig. So as you can see here, everything's coming out the back. We're just gonna sip and singe all of that and then we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it, we are done. So, excess paracord has been snipped and singed, and this one turned out perfectly. Really love this tri tricolor design, and uh, yeah, it turned out great. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like what I do, feel free to check out my Patreon and support me there. Definitely check out uh, Powell's Instagram feed, Cetus550, it's linked down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you on the next video.